Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can utilize the new CSS grid feature with 3.7, which is currently in its alpha, uh, but the Oxygen Builder 3.7 version will be released as a release candidate sometime soon, hopefully soon, uh, and with it comes a powerful addition of a native integration with CSS grid. And CSS Grid is a layout tool that we can use to make very advanced layouts very simply. Um, it is a distant cousin of Flexbox, but there are some primary differences between Grid and Flexbox. I'll link you in the description below if you would like to learn more about the differences and the use cases for each of them. But basically, you can use CSS Grid and repeaters to create advanced repeater layouts that will showcase your posts or your pages or your categories or anything that repeats um, in a very unique way and the pagination will also work. So in this video, I'm going to uh, recreate this section of the abcnews.go.com website. So here, if you think in your head, look at this section, and you can go on the website and find this section as well. If you think in your head about how you would do this with a Oxygen, Bur Oxygen Builder version 3.6 or lower, this is actually a pretty complex layout to do without grid. And the reason being is that I would want this to be a single repeater because it would be a single query and every time we change the page, um, this whole thing would repopulate with the next page's posts. But I would be very hard pressed to do this using just basic Flexbox. And what I mean by that is that if I were to do this right now with, with 3.6 without the grid, this would be a single repeater. This would be a single repeater with an offset of two. This would be a single repeater with an offset of three uh, or five actually. And then this would be a single repeater with another offset attached to it. And this would all be done with quest custom queries. And the problem here is that these would all be separate repeaters and the pagination would have to be hidden because it just wouldn't work uh, on what I'm trying to do here. So all of these would be individual repeaters. It would be kind of difficult to set up. It would be very complex, a lot of moving parts. Um, and this is a complex layout, but it's also a simple layout if you think about it. So I'm going to show you now how you can use Grid to create this same layout with a repeater using a single repeater. And it's just a lot cleaner and a lot simpler than pretty much any other solution out there. So uh, first I generated like 50 posts using FakerPress. This is great if you're just developing and messing around. I'm on a page right now. If this was a production site, I would probably be using an archive layout or an or archive template or a uh, blog page, blog homepage uh, template and then apply it to the specific pages. But this is just a post in this example. Uh, this is Oxygen Builder version 3.7. This theme is not native to the Oxygen Builder. I'm using Swiss Knife Pro to add this theme. The only additional add-on that I'm using is um, Hydrogen Pack, which adds right-click like so. So I'm going to add a section, and then I'm going to add a singular repeater. First thing when we're making this type of layout is to figure out how many blocks I want in that layout. And by blocks, I mean these cards. So each individual postcard is just going to be a block. Um, as you can see, single block, this block is 66% wide, this block is 33% wide. I want to figure out how many blocks I'm going to be using on the page. So in this example, I think it's going to be eight. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I can count to eight. So these are going to be eight posts. And with these eight posts, the smallest post is going to be 33% wide. So with this knowledge, we have eight posts and we have three columns within this grid layout. So first, we're going to set up our query. In a production website, I would use a manual query, but for this, I'm using a custom query. The reason I would use a manual query is because I can have more control over the offset of the posts and stuff like that. We're going to set up eight posts per page. And here you can see we got eight posts. There you go. Um, before I do anything, I'm just going to make a, a basic post layout card because I think this might be a little difficult for you to see on the page. And I'm going to do that by adding a div within the div, taking this div, 
making it 100% wide, um, making it actually a link, setting that link to be a permalink to the post itself. So this is a post div. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and make, yeah, we'll make the link wrapper have a height of 300. There you go. Within the link wrapper, we're going to throw in some text. We're going to align the text to the left and to the bottom. We're going to add some padding in there. Let's say 30, 30 pixels looks good. We're going to actually make this text, which is already linked because it's contained in a link wrapper into the title. So we don't need to check off link. Uh, and then if I was really doing this, I'd add a uh, excerpt. But right now the excerpts are like 400 words long. So it becomes very annoying to use here. So I'm just going to add in our title and set the title to be have a color of white. Then finally, background of the link wrapper is going to be the featured image. There you go. Uh, set it to be black background. And then add in the data for the featured image. Set it to cover. Image overlay color is going to be 100 uh, black. And then set the black to be halfway opaque. There we go. All right, so now it is time to set up our layout. And I'm not sure why these images aren't loading, but they should. There we go. Oh, the final thing I'm going to do is make our typography right aligned. There we go. OK, so now we have postcards. And in these postcards, it would be cool if our background applied to them. Whatever. In these postcards, each of these cards equals a individual post. And on the front end, if you click on one of these postcards, it will bring you, just like your normal repeater, it will bring you to whatever post you can see. You can see at the bottom of the page, each permalink changes because it's a repeater to the post. Now we want to make our advanced layout. So we want the advanced layout to be um, like so. 66, 33, 100, 33, 33, 33, 66, 33. The way we're going to do that is by using grid. And to do that, we're going to go to the overarching repeater, which wraps around all of the divs in it. We're going to set the grid layout to be grid. We're going to set the column count to be 3, because the smallest column here is 3. And we're also going to make our text to be 1.75 REM, so this one fits in there. And then we're going to start building our grid layout. So our column count is 3 because the smallest column on this page is 33% wide. So because we have three columns, these break down into a single column being 33% wide. And then we're going to build the grid. And notice I'm, I'm keeping the gap at 20, so this is the gap. The maximum width is one frame. The minimum width is 200. The rows are kept the same, same with their gap. Um, the thing about grid is that it won't automatically collapse like your columns will in Oxygen Builder. So once you get down to a page size that's under 200 times 3 in this instance, because the minimum width is 200 for each individual block, it starts pushing off the page like this. So this is 200 pixels wide plus 20, 200, 20, 200. It pushes off the page. So I'm going to show you kind of how to be responsive with this grid as well. But in this example, um, we just have our grid set up, three columns, because that's the way it needs to be. We're keeping everything else standard. Now we're going to work with the grid children. Um, and working with the grid children, very simple, very easy process. Go left to right, top to bottom. So starting from the left to the right, going up and down. So first column is going to be or first child is going to be too wide because 2 times 33 equals 66. This is 66% wide. This is now 33% wide. It defaults down to one frame or one child. Or one, one child defaults down to one the width of one column. Um, now we want this one to be 100% wide, so it becomes three columns wide. Then we want this one. We want 33, 33, 33. Then we want, here are 33s. Then we want a 66 and a 33. 66 becomes two columns, 
you stay at 33. Um, and there you go. That's our layout. You might notice that there's just an extra one down here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a bug with 3.7 because it's in the alpha version. So not something to worry about here. It'll probably be fixed by the time the RC comes out. Again, I'm filming on the alpha version, so there are some bugs, but they'll be ironed out by the time the release candidate version rolls around. So now I'm going to save. Let's see if we can get our, our images working. Come on. Interesting that our RGB. Oh, because we have an extra zero. There you go. All right, so now we have an overlay. The reason I have the overlay over the featured image, over the background color is that first, if the image doesn't load, the background color will, so you'll still see the, where the post should be. Um, the image overlay makes the image darker, so the content on top of it can be read more easily. Um, sometimes in Oxygen, the background images just don't update, but in the front end, they'll probably update. So now here we go. This is our layout. We completely copied this layout right here. Um, with a single repeater and I'm now going to show you why this is a really good thing to be doing and why using grid in oxygen is just a nice turn of events a nice nice change of scenery if you will here's our old grid here's the new grid new grid here's an advanced layout using a single repeater using not even adding anything in here this is just your single div in the repeater and then it stretches out to, to fit into the grid elements. Um, but the main thing that I like about this is that you can have your layout and you can have as many repeaters as, or as many um, individual post divs as you want. And you can work down the page and you can have a million of these cards and have them change throughout the entire page. And then you could click on the next page. We're on blog page number two. This is the same repeater as before, but it's populated with new posts and all of the posts update into the layout that we want them to update into as opposed to using one repeater here one repeater here one repeater here you can't do pegnation when you're using multiple repeaters and you can't build this layout with flexbox you need css grid so that addition to oxygen and this is what i'm trying to show you it's very powerful because now all you need is one repeater we have this is the simplest page structure you can build i mean a single section a single repeater a single div in that repeater and then just set up the grid to be how you want it to be a grid and there you go that's how it works uh, pretty simple pretty straightforward stuff and then one other thing I'm probably gonna regret this because it's uh, we have that little bug here but if I want to go ahead and do um, really do 2d as I was mentioning flexbox is a good one direction so if you're going up or up and down or left and right flexbox vertical horizontal but if you're doing 2D and you want to really go 2D with CSS grid, setting up a row span to be two and the column span to be one becomes even more interesting and complex. So now we'll just make our link wrapper become 100% tall. And then we'll set our div to be, to have its height instead. And now look at this. And actually, we can make this fit with the number that we have as well. Go back to repeater, go back to grid layout, go to the grid layout, go to the final element, make you 100% by adding three column spans. Saved. And now we have a true multi dimensional layout. This is truly two dimensions instead of one dimension. You're not going left or right, up or down. You're going up and down and left and right all in one. This spans two up. This is your 100% wide. And this is now a true CSS grid layout using a single repeater still. And the pagination works perfectly. So that's kind of the power of grid. You can create very advanced layouts like this that were simply impossible in the past using repeaters and flexbox in Oxygen Builder. You can make these type of layouts really easily. And these type of websites used to be limited to corporations that had many thousands of dollars to spend on custom development and hard coding grid. And grid wasn't even around until I think 2016 maybe. So before that, who knows how they did this? I don't know. I don't even know. But um, 
that's what you can do here. You can do multi-dimensional, just exclude this from your, your eyesight. You can go multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional, left, right, up, down, advanced grid layouts, um, and then you can just continue it onwards. So right now we set the count to be eight posts, uh, but if you want this to be a full page thing, you can set it to be a full page thing, and I'll show you that too while we're at it. I'm going to add in uh, how many more posts would we need? We'd need a we'd need one more post. One, one, two, three. We need three more posts. So I'll show you kind of just going off what we have already. We're going to add in three additional posts. So our count is going to go to 11. And then, oh, we have to reply. And then we'll go back to our grid and we'll do a little more of that multi-dimensional type thing where we go to grid layout and now we're going to hit the bottom child. We're going to make you span two and the row will also be two. There you go. So now this is an even bigger one just based on the grid. So uh, I know the video is already long and nobody's probably watching this section anyway, but basically this is what you can do with a single grid a single repeater, CSS grid in Oxygen 3.7, it's something to be excited about. It's really easy to use with this interface, um, even if you're not familiar with grid and how it really works. It's something that you'll be able to figure out, and it's something that you'll be able to actually put to use in your own websites because these type of layouts are very popular. These type of layouts are great for your users, and the Pagnation works with the single repeater because it's still a single repeater. It's not multiple repeaters. Uh, all grouped together now. It's just a single CSS grid. Works really well. Uh, just a great setup. I'm very pleased that Oxygen added this in 3.7. I can't wait until the release candidate comes out. Uh, little dirty secret, the Isotropic blog is actually using CSS grid and 3.7 on the production site right now. So you can see this is grid right here. All of this is grid. All of this is grid, so it's just just something to take a look at if you want to see 3.7 in the wild. Um, the final thing that I wanted to mention, and I didn't mention this before, for responsiveness, right now the minimum width is 200 pixels um, wide. So for an individual column, this is an individual element in, in a column. There are three columns. The individual element in the column is 200% wide at the minimum. Uh, then we have a gap of 20, then we have another 200, then another 20 gap, then another 200. So basically what we have is um, 640 pixels wide. So if we make our screen size drop below 640 pixels wide, nothing, like it's fallen off the page because this is still 200 pixels wide. So there's no automatic collapse with CSS Grid. Uh, like the columns are in oxygen. So when you're building things to be responsive, this is just something to be mindful of. And of course, you can't, you can't really, this doesn't really make any sense because if I wanted to add more content here, it just wouldn't fit into my individual block. And the way I would go about addressing this is really three columns under, when you're, when you're on this type of screen size, having anything over two columns becomes annoying. Uh, and an easy way to make this responsive and something that really requires no effort at all is just dropping it back to Flexbox, removing the grid at this breakpoint, making it Flexbox, making it vertical, just setting it to be vertical. Super simple. The only other thing you would need to do is go to the actual div and add the applicable sizing. And then I'll show you on the front end, it remains as your grid. But once you get to that specific breakpoint, it just breaks down into the single, the single column. So that's just something to show you kind of, that's how I would make it responsive. Just something to keep in mind that it won't automatically collapse down. But as we expand it out, there you go. We're back to grid and then we break down to your single column. So hopefully that video was uh, helpful for you. If you're going to be building advanced repeater layouts and blogs, which I hope you are with Oxygen, um, this is the way to do it. I mean, use grid, use a single repeater, do advanced layouts, use these, these grids in your other layouts as well, not just repeaters, but I think repeaters is probably the best application of grid. 
If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the content on this video platform of mine, give it a subscription because I publish a lot on Oxygen and uh, supporting me through those subscriptions helps me keep motivated to publish more. Um, hopefully this was a helpful video. If you uh, enjoyed it, again, give it a thumbs up. Check out the associated blog post article linked in the, the description below, and I will see you in the next video.